supporting discipline, involving skiing between poles or gates. These are spaced more closely than those in giant slalom, super giant slalom and downhill, necessitating quicker and shorter turns. Internationally, the sport is contested at the FIS Alpine World Ski Championships, and at the Olympic Winter Games. The term may also refer to water skiing on one ski. The word slalom is from the Morgadal slash Salior dialect of Norwegian slalom, sl, meaning slightly inclining hillside, and lam, meaning track after skis. The inventors of modern skiing classified their trails according to their difficulty. Slalom was a trail used in Telemark by boys and girls not yet able to treat themselves on the more challenging runs. Ufsilam was a trail with one obstacle, ufs, like a jump, a fence, a difficult turn a gorge, a cliff, often more than high, and more. UV Wired Salam was a trail with several obstacles. A Norwegian military downhill competition in 1767 included racing downhill among trees without falling or breaking skis. Sandre Norheim and other skiers from Telemark practiced UV Wired Salam or disrespectful slash reckless downhill where they raced downhill in difficult and untested terrain, i.e., off-piste. The 1866 ski race in Oslo was a combined cross-country, jumping and slalom competition. In the slalom participants were allowed use poles for braking and steering, and they were given points for style, appropriate skier posture. During the late 1800s Norwegian skiers participated in all branches, jumping, slalom, and cross-country, often with the same pair of skis. Slalom and variants of slalom were often referred to as hill races. Around 1900 hill races are abandoned in the Oslo Championships at Husseby and Holmen Colin. Matthias Sidarski's development of the Lillenfeld binding helped change hill races into a specialty of the Alps region. The rules for the modern slalom were developed by Arnold Lunn in 1922 for the British National Ski Championships, and adopted for alpine skiing at the 1936 Winter Olympics. Under these rules skates were marked by pairs of flags rather than single ones, were arranged so that the racers had to use a variety of turn lengths to negotiate them, and scoring was on the basis of time alone, rather than on both time and style. A course is constructed by laying out a series of gates, formed by alternating pairs of red and blue poles. The skier must pass between the two poles forming the gate, with the tips of both skis and the skier's feet passing between the poles. A course has 55 to 75 gates for men and 40 to 60 for women. The vertical drop for a men's course is and slightly less for women. The gates are arranged in a variety of configurations to challenge the competitor. Because the offsets are relatively small and slalom, ski racers take a fairly direct line and often knock the poles out of the way as they pass, which is known as blocking. The main blocking technique in modern slalom is cross blocking in which the skier takes such a tight line and angulates so strongly that he or she is able to block the gate with the outside hand. In modern slalom, a variety of protective equipment is used such as shin pads, hand guards, helmets and face guards. Traditionally, bamboo poles were used for gates, the rigidity of which forced skiers to maneuver their entire body around each gate. In the early 1980s, rigid poles were replaced by hard plastic poles, hinged at the base. The hinged gates require According to FIS rules, only that the skis and boots of the skier go around each gate. The new gates allow a more direct path down a slalom course through the process of cross-blocking or shinning the gates. Cross-blocking is a technique in which the legs go around the gate with the upper body inclined toward, or even across, the gate. In this case the racer's outside pole and shin guards hit the gate, knocking it down and out of the way. Cross-blocking is done by pushing the gate down with the arms, hands, or shins. By 1989, most of the top technical skiers in the world had adopted the cross-block technique. With the innovation of shaped skis around the turn of the 21st century, equipment used for slalom and international competition changed drastically. World Cup skiers commonly skied on slalom skis at a length of in the 1980s and 1990s but by the 2002 Olympic Winter Games in Salt Lake City, the majority of competitors were using skis measuring or less. The downside of the shorter skis was that athletes found that recoveries were more difficult with a smaller platform underfoot. Out of concern for the safety of athletes, the FIS began to set minimum ski lengths for international slalom competition. The minimum was initially set at for men and for women, but was increased to for men and for women for the 2003 to 2004 season. The equipment minimums and maximums imposed by the International Ski Federation (FIS) have created a backlash from skiers, suppliers, and fans. 
The main objection is that the Federation is regressing the equipment, and hence the sport, by two decades. American Boat Miller hastened the shift to the shorter, more radical side cut skis when he achieved unexpected success after becoming the first junior Olympic athlete to adopt the equipment in giant slalom and super G in 1996. A few years later, the technology was adapted to slalom skis as well. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.